Hi guys! So as you can tell by my naked face, today we're going to do a makeup transformation of a creepy horned character inspired by one of the newest movies that came out this holiday season called Krampus. If you haven't heard of Krampus, he is this horned character that comes around the Christmas season who collects all of the naughty kids and punishes them. And I found this really creepy illustration of Krampus online when I was researching the movie. So I decided to get inspired by this and do my own version of Krampus. I really want to see the movie, as you could tell. Warning, this video is going to be super duper creepy and include blood, so for a younger audience, I would suggest you not maybe watch this if you're scared of creepy characters with a lot of blood. So, let's see how this turns out. First, I'm pulling my hair back into a ponytail and putting a bandana on just to get all the hair out of the way. And then I'm getting some aqua paint in white. I always use Wolf Brothers and I'm just using a damp makeup sponge. If you could afford to use a beauty blender or a beauty blender dupe for aqua paints, I would suggest you get one of those because I think it works better than just a square makeup sponge. But mine got destroyed and I forgot to get another one. You do not want to paint your eyes white to leave a hollowness, like if you're drawing a skull kind of, where your eye sockets would be. Doing that white paint all over your face and down your neck, you want to look like you are covered in maybe snow, baking powder. Then I am powdering that entire white base down with some translucent powder. I'm actually using baby powder for this with a huge powder puff. These are so handy. Then I'm just getting some gray cream paint. You want something that's like gargoyle cement color. This is from Ben Nye. I first used a makeup sponge and then I transferred over to a small flat top makeup brush because it gives more of a streaky effect and you can make this as messy as you want. Krampus is very rough and rugged. You do not have to do clean lines here or be precise. Do that gray all over where we put the white paint except for on our mouth and jaw line. You want to do a little bit on your chin but leave an area where you want to draw on teeth later. Where we didn't put gray paint on the white face, we are going to put some yellow paint there to do a base color of the teeth that we're gonna draw on. Then I'm getting some powder, and this is optional, but I'm just getting a stipple sponge with this gray alcohol paint. Instead of alcohol paint, you could use a darker gray tone with a textured stipple sponge. We want it to look like crack, rugged gray tones. And then I'm getting a black eyeliner and drawing in the nostrils around the nose and then starting on the shape forms of the teeth. You want to make these teeth long and kind of scraggly looking. Honestly, they look like very gross, unkept, long, overgrown fingernails is what they remind me of. Or like bugles. Have you ever eaten bugles and like put them on your fingers and ate them in a fun way? Does anybody know what bugles are? Do they still sell bugles? Are they a 90s kids thing? Going off topic. Maybe I'm hungry. But you really want to look at reference pictures when you're painting on these teeth on your mouth and do lines of like the monster's gums in certain areas. Now I'm just getting some black cream paint and painting in the hollow black parts of the mouth where its jaws open up to eat and punish small children. And I'm getting the black paint with a flat top brush and doing textured marks all across the face. You really want to find a picture of Krampus that you like or inspired by to maybe do some sort of these textured marks all over the face. Honestly, whatever your idea of Krampus is would be great. Krampus reminds me of someone who has a hollow face that almost resembles a little bit of skull like this one because he's feeding off children maybe, and he needs that youthful life to live off of and eat and consume. Now I'm also getting some brown cream paint for my Ben Nye wheel and doing that on the edges of the teeth and some parts of the face to do more texture. Now I'm getting a black eyeliner pencil and defining parts of the teeth where they attach to the jawline and his gums and doing more details and darkness around the mouth. And I started to put this on my eye, but then I decided to color in the eyes. You want to make these eyes like bloodshot, pure, piercing, bloody red. Starting off with red cream paint, tapping some white cream paint on top, and then getting some yellow paint and tapping that on top of that, because this is going to give it a glowing halo effect. You want these eyes to look like they're blood glowing eyes in the middle of the night. Make them really creepy and stand out. And then getting some black cream paint around those eyes and make it really dark and blend into the red without smudging it totally. This will really frame the eyes and make it look like it's set in there and glowing more. You could do some frown marks with the black paint and more textures across the face. You don't have to go too far on your forehead or too down on your neck with textures and details because we're gonna put on a hood and a beard later. With this black paint, we're gonna do some shadows across the face. And this is optional if you wanna use alcohol paints and you're experienced in that, only if you know how to use these because they could be dangerous. I'm getting some 
red stipple across his teeth like blood gash marks across it. Kind of like when you do a rash mark on an injury wound. If you don't have alcohol paints, you could definitely use red cream paint for this. And once you think that your Krampus makeup look is creepy enough and really cool, you could put on a fake beard. I just got a Santa beard and painted some of it black with like the Halloween hairspray paint you get online. And then I got this awesome Santa hood. It honestly came from a very slutty outfit, but I just wanted the hood. And I painted the edges of this hood black as well. And then I got these epic, huge, giant horns that I am in love with. They look like giant ram horns, and they're very mystical and amazing. You want to make sure you hide the elastic of it, though. We are going to get some fake blood, like, splattering all across my face. Like, I really struggled while I was eating someone. And once you're completely done arranging your horns, making sure they look cool enough, you are completely done with your Krampus makeup look. I don't know if you should show up to any Christmas parties looking like this, unless you have a really cool sense of humor in your family. I mean, I would, but that's just me. So sorry for a younger audience who is watching this. You've come a long way, and I know this is very creepy. I just think fables and fairy tales and any characters that come from them are so amazing. I would love to do a troll under a bridge makeup look. But now it is time to take this off. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I had a lot of fun as always with you guys. If you guys do this makeup or any of my makeup transformations, please tag me on Instagram, hashtag catsketch. You can follow me on any and all social medias. I'm on almost every single one of them to see what makeup transformation might be up next. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. Hope you guys have a great holidays and I hope this doesn't reach your nightmares. And I love you guys so much. See you soon. Bye.